right y'all so it is Tuesday <laughs> um, and this is the working artist vlog <laughs> and I am Marshall Lee of donkeydawprojects.com also known as Marsh Makes Comics here on YouTube and uh, <laughs> if you didn't already know um, I've been having some car troubles and today I've been trying to figure it out right now I'm in the work truck and I'm um, gonna use that to go home and come back and you know luckily I have that option um, I don't know how long they'll let me use it but <laughs> sometimes I have to if they want me to get back and forth to work I guess right <laughs> so anyways I think the problem with the car is the fuel pump I'm not sure my lovely beautiful awesomely awesome wife Lindsay is um, she she actually did some research online and figured it out <laughs> uh, pretty quickly too. I'm I'm such a dunce when it comes to auto and I'm I procrastinate and stuff. But uh, she she did a she figured it out. I think. I mean, it, it looks like that's what it is. I've been looking into it and I looked into how to replace it. It's actually on my car. Luckily, it's a really easy replacement. Uh, you literally lift up the back seat and it's like right there. You just gotta you know unbolt some things and bolt some things in and take out some electric it's, it sounds more complicated the way I'm saying it but it's actually really simple um, so I'm gonna try to replace it I think because I found the part for only like $36 on um, Amazon it has some pretty good reviews um, I don't know I might I'm gonna look more into that just to make sure um, but it seems like for some people it's working really well but some there was some people who said it kind of died out um, after a year or something so I don't know that might not be a good thing so the other option is to maybe I mean I could buy one from the store but one person was saying well this is the exact same part as the one from the store so I don't know I'm gonna keep looking into it but it might be an easy fix something I can do something I don't have to pay a million dollars for if I can you know do it and if this actually is the thing that's making my car not start so anyways um, this is not an auto <laughs> uh, an automobile fixing um, vlog this is a vlog about me and my journey making comics and trying to make a living out of this stuff and trying to bring some awesome stories to you guys and uh, so I did do some of that. I, I spent about a half an hour or more on Lone Wolf this morning, and then I spent some more time looking into something for Lone Wolf. I had to find out we're gonna have like an extra bonus thing, like mini comic thing of um, Attack of the Lizard Brain, if you haven't heard of that story before. Um, that's one I did, uh, when did I finish that? I think I finished it last year sometime. I can't remember exactly, but um, it's a little eight page comic. I'm gonna do like a little mini comic bonus thing for Lone Wolf, um, which is cool. That's fun. And uh, and I also worked on a super secret project that I can't talk about. <laughs> it's just a collaboration with a friend and we haven't talked about like releasing anything yet. And um, it's just a fun kind of experimental comic. Um, and I think it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take for us to finish because we don't really have like a goal with it. We just are doing it. <laughs> so uh, we'll see what happens, but it's that's a fun thing. Um, so let's see, what else? Is there anything else? Uh, oh, I did a live stream this morning um, with Teresa Del Pilar and um, Russ Leach, comic, also known as Comic Book Black Belt. Uh, about uh, kind of the journey going of trying to go pro with this comic stuff and, and just things like that. Um, it was a great discussion and it was fun to have Teresa back on. We haven't had her on in, you know, probably a couple months at least or a month and a half or something. It's been a while. Um, I kind of stopped doing live streams for a little while and then she was busy and eh, it's all cool. She came back and that's that was fun to have her back on. Um, and Russ, of course, is always a great guest, uh, you know, so those are always fun, um, to do. Let's see, is there anything else? I'm still working on illustration stuff. Um, you know, this is to try to pay for getting car the car fixed and things like that. And, you know, I, I only kind of jump into illustration when I have needs, you know, and I try to make some extra money and I think I want to make it like 
kind of an ongoing thing though. It's fine. I just want to find something kind of simple and somewhat easy to do. You know, I don't want to make it over complicated that I can kind of do, you know, within an hour or so and make an extra hundred bucks here or there or whatever. And, uh, you know, maybe not an hour, maybe a couple hours, two, three hours, but you know, I don't want to make it too crazy. And it's just something that I can get some money flowing so I can, you know, start working my way out of some of these financial issues, you know, while I'm also still working on comics every day. I work on comics every single day. Um, except for once in a great while, I'll, I'll uh, miss a day, you know, maybe once every two months I might miss a day or something. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Working on comics, I, I can't wait for to keep um, doing things more substantial. Um, but I'm also doing like fun little stuff here and there as as I go, just because I'm kind of waiting on the big project. You know, I, I have to finish how you know get that going when when you know it's kind of not in my hands right now. So that's fine totally cool you know we're doing what we can with what we got and um i got a lot of cool things going on i can't wait to share so i don't know i'm just kind of blabbing here um so today's tuesday i think that's going to be it for today's update and we'll talk to you tomorrow which will be in like a snap of a finger why can't i snap my finger i guess i can only snap with the right hand <laughs> all right it is wednesday and Look at all these curls. <laughs> um, so uh, I just did some work. I don't know how much time. Probably, I don't know, 45 minutes, something like that, on Lone Wolf. And uh, let's check it out. All right, so I did uh, this panel. It's still got some work to go. It's a bigger panel. There's two horses, two people, some background, all that fun stuff. So... These, this background was obviously much easier, um, and this background is non-existent, so, uh, yeah, you know, it takes more time when you have to do some background stuff, and I had to put the background in, see, it's, it's interesting, like, this is a little teachable moment, <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, some people put every background in every panel, and I think that that's cool and it shows that you're not afraid to do work and you're not lazy for sure um, but it also takes a lot more time and it might be actually not as good storytelling it depends I mean everybody's got different styles um, but you'll notice in a lot of your comics if you pay attention to it even if they're people who are very detailed oriented or um, are not afraid to do backgrounds um, you'll notice that a lot of times there will be plenty of panels within the comic that don't have a background or have some kind of just simple graphic element or you know either leave it black or leave you know put somebody in silhouette or like they'll, they'll do little things and it's not to get away from um, drawing backgrounds uh, backgrounds kind of serve specific purposes because um, if you really think about it when you look at any object you're not paying attention you're only paying attention to that one object you're looking at you know or if you're looking at a landscape you are seeing a lot more but you know you can only focus on so much at once if you really think about it you know look at what you're looking at right now and then pay a little bit of attention to the peripheral vision it's kind of blurry you're not it's just not that you're not focused on it it's important to have um, focus in in on a comic page and in each panel. Um, and backgrounds are not always that important. You just have to indicate, like here I indicated the movement of the scene by showing the trees kind of going by, you know. That's all you really need sometimes. Um, I mean, I'll get better and better at backgrounds that I probably, you know, 10 years from now will draw that, this panel different, you know. Who knows? Um, so you got this panel that just has it, the only th purpose the um, background serves is to show that they're kind of going somewhat fast through a forest. And this one, you know, there's really not a lot of room for the background, so just leave it out to keep it simple. Because really the focal point is this, the conversation between the two of them. Um, and maybe their facial expressions and stuff, which I didn't, I'm not very good at that yet. So you can see it's pretty simple, basic stuff. 
Um, and then this one is important to have a background. You know, it doesn't have to be the most amazing background in the world, but it's important uh, to show this background because it's showing that here, with the sun here, it's either sunrise or sunset. Um, and what it is is sunset. So at least, you know, you get that, you know, kind of clue. Um, and then you go down here and we're going to see them finding tracks of the demon bear they're looking for. And then here, you know, this background may or may not show like sunrise or sunset. It's just going to show a cave and, and them standing and blah, blah, blah. But it says right here, um, you know, we should make our stand here. I'll build a fire. Like it's, it's the end of the day basically is I'm trying to you know tell the story here with the background and it's important to you know put a background at least you know you know a lot of times you don't want to go for pages and pages without putting a background you would gotta either put at least one background per page or you know every couple pages um so that you establish they call it, that's why they call them establishing shots to establish where the characters are in space and it depends on the kind of creator you are how much you want to do that you know uh, I think it's actually kind of important to make sure you do that every few panels especially in like action scenes because it can get confusing on where people are and you know some some artists you'll see they don't do so well with that and it just looks like people are floating in space as they're you know fighting and it's like where are they even at like it, it gets to the point where the fight scenes just kind of start to make no sense you know and and it just it's like not even worth having a fight scene or action because it doesn't look like anything's being accomplished or the story's moving forward or anything it just seems like people are punching each other you know randomly so anyways so yeah i mean there's probably a lot more to say about backgrounds and stuff that i don't even maybe know or haven't experienced you know gone through the experience to learn yet but um you know, I want to get better at backgrounds. I, I love beautiful backgrounds in comics, um, you know. So, you know, you can look at, like, things like Akira and, and things Mobius did and, and stuff like that. And so many others have done so much beautiful work with backgrounds. A beautiful background is really awesome part of comics. So, um, I definitely would say don't shy away from it. But also, don't worry about, you know, drawing every single background because... It's actually not as good storytelling if you draw every single background, you know. You're trying to indicate certain things and, and it can muddy up the page. Um, it can, it just can cause less clarity in your storytelling. So, yeah, that's about it. Alright, y'all. Oh, let me get the microphone closer. Hopefully that doesn't blow your ears out. Um, it is Thursday and today... Uh, I did about an hour's worth of work on Lone Wolf, getting close to finishing up this new page. Uh, I got one, the biggest panel still left, with probably the maybe the most detail. So, you know, that one's going to take a little bit, but hopefully I can get it finished soon and move on to the next page. Got to get these inks done because the Lone Wolf Kickstarter is only got seven days left. And... One thing that's really cool is, like I said, we're throwing in that ash can, and so if we get to five thousand um, dollars, <laughs> five thousand um, dollars, if we get to that level, then we'll be able to throw my ash can in, and there'll be another ash can in for every backer. So that's pretty awesome. That's going to be fun. Um, but if we don't get there, you know, we won't be able to do that. So um, everything is contingent. It's a big word, contingent. <laughs> uh, three syllables, three whole syllables. Anyways, um, if you can tell, I'm a little bit goofy right now for some reason. I don't know. Um, anyways, <clears throat> I did my, an hour on um, Lone Wolf this morning. I probably spent, I don't know, half an hour on the Super Secret Project. I'll probably spend some more time on writing comics or something. Or other things comic related probably hear the highway sorry if it's like super loud um so getting work done you know grinding through the bad news after bad news that seems to always be present in life um you know i'm just uh, always trusting in god and um 
trusting that I can get through, you know, um, and luckily, you know, I don't know, things a lot of times turn out to not be as bad as, as I think they're going to be, so that's really cool, and so, um, that's good, I got a part coming on the way through Amazon, um, for my car that might be the thing to fix it, I think, it was cheap enough to be like to take a chance before I bring it back to the auto shop and see if I can do it and easy enough to replace it's the fuel pump um, and it's actually really easy to access and stuff so you know we'll see I'll, I'll do that change that out see if my car is gonna if, if it at least gives it another year or something that'd be great um, but I gotta make money, you know, I gotta figure out ways to do all this stuff just to live, you know, survive. I got a lot of responsibilities and it's all up to me sometimes, you know, so that's how things go in life sometimes. Um, but that's okay. I don't mind it. I just want to make sure I can, you know, do what I need to do. Um, so one other thing, last thing I was thinking about was, um, do, have you guys ever heard of people doing Kickstarters to... I know I've heard of it here and there, but, like, Kickstarters to fund, like... I, I guess it, it happens all the time, but the thing is, is... I feel like I have a Kickstarter that I might be doing at some point, you know, in the future. I, I'm, it's not necessarily soon. I still got probably a ways down the road before I do this, but... Um, I have a couple things that I'll be... I mean, I probably have a lot of things that I'll be doing. Kickstarter, crowdfunding. I might do Indiegogo. I don't know. Um, or maybe I'll do both. Should I do both? Is that greedy? I feel like there's two different audiences for both platforms, and I kind of feel like doing one and then doing the other might be a good idea. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Um, but, you know, the thing I really want to know about is I have a project that I want to do with somebody, um, but I want to hire them, I want to pay them money to do their part of the project, I'll still be doing work on it as well, but they will be doing, you know, part of the process, and um, I'm really excited to do this, this is going to be my first time trying this, um, it's kind of feels risky and scary, but it also is something that, uh, you know, I feel like I want to do, because I want to be able to not only make my own projects with my own art and own writing, but I also want to work with other people, and I'd love to write some projects that other people do the art for and things like that. So basically, I'd be hiring a penciler and um, basically a, a designer, like somebody to um, kind of do some character designs and stuff like that. So, that being said, have you ever heard, like the thing is, is... I would have to like raise the money to pay that person so that they can do the work then you know raise the money to do the printing like do people ever do like double crowdfundings for a project and how would I do that my only thought and idea that I had well there's two different ways I thought maybe I could do it is I could either just hopefully raise as much as possible on like one Kickstarter and then you know hopefully there's some left over from that so that that could help pay for the person um, I could raise my own money to do it, which, sure, but I haven't been doing well with that so far, you know, so if that kind of money starts flowing, then sure, um, I could do that, or, um, I could do, like, a Kickstarter or whatever, you know, a, a crowdfunder, stupid highway, <laughs> a crowdfunder for, um, you know, hiring the person or whatever and like the uh you know but the way I mean I'd have to give something to people so what could I do maybe I'll give like a print of the project or you know maybe even like a small like some kind of ash can or something like a preview ash can that I make or something um I don't know like what do you think is there a way to kind of raise money so you could have enough money to make the comic and then raise money for the printing on a second time is that like being greedy or I feel like it's kind of what maybe is needed sometimes I don't know so I really would like to hire somebody I don't have the money myself in my own pockets what do you guys think is there other approaches that you could think of 
Um, to do that, have you guys thought of doing something like that where you actually need to make money to hire people as well? Um, some people I've seen, like Jake Parker, has raised enough money to hire himself for a year, you know, or whatever. So there's that too. I think Jason Brubaker kind of goes that route as well. So, you know, I guess there is ways to do it, but I don't have the kind of clout that they have, so I can only raise so much. My guess is I can probably raise, I'll be maybe around 3000 3, at my best. I don't, I don't really know. You know, it, it's hard to say. I see other people do single issue Kickstarters and, and this is all just for like one single issue or maybe a, a, a extra, like a double size issue or something like that, you know. So that's all I can really afford. You know, because I want to pay the artist, you know, a good rate, you know, so. Um, I mean, even just a decent, I want to pay the artist the rate that they quote me, basically. I mean, and maybe even give them a little bonus. That would be cool um, if I could. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think about all that? You know, um, basically, yeah, I don't know. I think I've said it pretty well. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys on the next vlog. You guys rock. And uh, yeah, have a great weekend. Peace out.